How to fix the iPad touch screen not working? Make sure the screen is clean. The easiest thing you can do to fix your iPad screen not working is to clean it. You might think this has nothing to do with the screen working or not, but if there's grease, water, or other debris on the screen, it might stop partially or fully responding. You can clean the iPad screen with special cleaning wipes for the screen, use a special spray with a microfiber cloth, etc. After cleaning, make sure the screen is dry. Your fingers should also be clean and dry. Check the screen protector. If you have a screen protector on your iPad, we recommend removing it. Sometimes, the screen protector can affect the touch screen giving the impression that the screen stopped working. Usually, the problem can appear if you have a poorly made screen protector. If the problem is resolved after removing the screen protector, do not reapply it. Change it to a different one, a preferably better quality, so you don't encounter the same problem in the future. Remove all accessories. If you notice that the iPad screen stopped responding after plugging in an accessory, remove it. The issue can be due to a faulty cable, connector, or product itself. The problem could have also occurred due to a software glitch when you plugged in the accessory to your iPad. Reconnect your Apple Pencil. Open the Settings app on your iPad. Go to Bluetooth Settings. Locate Apple Pencil and tap on the I button. Then, select Forget This Device and confirm by tapping on Forget Device. Connect your Apple Pencil again. With the first gen, plug it into the iPad's lightning port. Then, tap on Pair. With second gen, Locate the magnetic connector on the back of your iPad and attach the Apple Pencil to it. Enable Touch Accommodation. Open the Settings app on your iPad. Scroll down and tap on Accessibility. Under Physical and Motor, tap on Touch, then tap on Touch Accommodations. Next, toggle the switch to disable the feature. Uninstall Apps. Sometimes an app could be the reason why your iPad screen is unresponsive. Tap and hold the app icon until a menu appears. Tap on Remove App and select Delete App. Confirm the action. Update your iPad. Open the Settings app on your iPad. Go to General Settings. Tap on Software Update. Wait while your device searches for updates. If found any, tap on Download and Install. Reset your iPad to Factory Settings. Before performing a factory reset, make sure to back up all important information as everything will be wiped out. Open the Settings app on your iPad. Go to General Settings. Tap on Transfer or Reset iPad at the bottom. Then tap on Erase All Content and Settings. Follow the on-screen instructions to reset and restore your iPad. Contact Apple Support. If nothing helps, check if there's no mechanical damage done to your iPad. If it took a hit on a hard surface, the problem could be damaged hardware. Take your iPad to an authorized service center for an inspection or contact Apple support for further assistance. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more and an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.